everyone on the internet horrible? Well, yes, they are. But here's someone who thinks that's just swell. It's US comedian and drunk, Doug Stanhope. I'm Doug Stanhope, and that's why I drink. Evidently, in the UK, you have some vague, ambiguous laws about mean tweeting. Where you can go to prison for being abusive on the internet. Where in the United States, being rude on the internet, that's the purpose of it. That's why you're on the internet. That's like making porn legal, but it's against the law to jerk off to it. A lot of people are against mean tweeting because it's usually at your expense. You're a big fucking man when you're sitting behind your keyboard, but you'd never say that shit to my face. Of course I wouldn't because you would hit me. Why would I invoke violence when I can do it happily from the safety of my own home? Point being, the internet is built for tragedy and inappropriate comments. Tragedy, that's when comics come to life. Tragedy happens, comic has to spring into action. You want to be the first on stage or on the laptop to make an inappropriate joke. That's what it's there for. Dead celebrities race to the internet. I can't wait. Whitney Houston, what do you got? And then people go, yeah, it's too soon. And you go, no, they just died. It's perfectly timed. The news broke. I had the first joke on the fucking internet. How dare you question my timing? I'm a professional. <laughs> too soon? For the first time in a celebrity's ego-driven career, they finally are dead and don't have to give a shit about what you said about them on the internet. How limited is your imagination that not only do you believe in an afterlife, but you still think it has social networking? <laughs> Where your dead celebrities down there in line checking her iPhone. Well, I hope I better be trending at least. <laughs> Well, that's a, that comment's a little off-color. That's a little salty. Could have saved that till I was cold. It's weird that the church can say, like, you're gonna go to hell if you masturbate. But if I tweet that your father is in hell because he masturbated, do I go to prison for that, or am I covered under some religious freedom act? I don't know. I'm not a barrister.